Hi, this is Rochelle, and uh, welcome to the uh, first video of the series, Keeping Up with Interactive Views. It's where I'm going to be taking you right behind the scenes of what's happening and um, showing you what I've done in order to create this channel and different things that I've also done with the WordPress as well. So, anyways, to begin with, I wanted to go over this video right here, which is the YouTube videos to WordPress. Um, and I just wanted to show you a few things about that. I'm going to take you right behind the scenes now and um, over to my creative studio to show you what's been happening, how I started, and um, where I am right now. Okay, so. I'm going to show you all 22. Actually, there's 21 different uh, tutorial that I was doing, and I haven't did it yet. But I need to. So, keeping on track here. As you can see, I posted my first video here. Uh, in August and this is what I've been doing uh, ever since uh, this is my last post was on October the 7th and um, it was the video uh, how to post a YouTube video to WordPress and we're going to go into this latest video right now because there's a few things that I wanted to go over and show you The first thing is, is um, well, there's actually three important points that I want to make now. When you are um, when you upload your your video to YouTube, and then after you get it, um, it's after the processing is done, then you'll have to uh, determine what is going to be the proper title. And the best way to find out what is a good title is to check it out by copying it and taking it over to uh, YouTube. And as you can see, I pasted it in there, but I'm pasting it in there again. Pasting it in and showing you where does it appear. Okay, so basically, I I am appearing here on uh, number three, and it does change. Now, another thing I wanted to let you know about that, that I think that may be helpful to you as well is that this filter up here, and uh, if you click into the filter, you're going to see something. It's called Creative Commons. All of my videos that I am doing, I am doing in Creative Commons, which means you can use my video. You can take my video and you can use it. And, and that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with it. So, these are the videos that are in the Creative Commons. Come up. And um, as you can tell, well, I don't see my video here yet for, because there's so many different ones where people have been using um, other things. Well, but you can use that. Um, I'm just going to go back, back to the regular. Um, sorry, I'm just going to go back to the other videos here. I just wanted to let you know about that because I think that that's important that you know that you can use if you want. Uh, most of my, all of my videos should be creator content and um, all the work that I've done on it, you, know, you could kind of the rating you would get right there, 48. Uh, it, it can actually be higher. Um, you can use these keywords if you want. You can use well, you should really make your own description um, and and check out your own title. But it's very important that the description is um, 
relative to what your video is about. And it's important that your keywords are relative to what your, your video is about. Now, that brings me to another thing that I think is, uh, is of uh, very great importance here. Something that has helped me greatly is it's called um, IQ Vid, Vid IQ. And I'm showing you here, it's in my browser. But I've also um, opened up, I've also a window here, and I've typed in right there, uh, vidiq.com just to show you this is this is important um, I think you should sign up sign up for free okay use the free version and then if you're interested uh, use the um, I would go with the pro plan it's about ten dollars a month um, I do not get any commission from this. I'm not telling you this so that I can make money. I'm telling you this because I think this is something that could be helpful. Since I've already, I'm already on here. I'm just going to like um, and just show you briefly some of the things that are available here. Okay, here you can see videos and I have two playlists here that I made software databases and YouTube um, I am making another playlist which I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that as well and then it gives you a chart it shows you different things that you can click on um, to see um, so and here it tells you your top videos, and here it gives you an idea. This is with the pro plan that I'm showing you this. With the free version, you do get some of it, but not um, as much. Now, another thing I'd like to bring to your attention about the vidIQ is the custom uh, thumbnail. You can either, once you go to sign up, um, and you get the extension, which goes right here in your Chrome. You can click on that. Now this is with the Pro Plan. This is things that I can do with the Pro Plan. Um, so basically what I'm looking for right now is to show you um, something that's important that you really need to, that you need to have. And that's a customized thumbnail. Why is it important? Because that's the first impression that somebody sees as soon as they see your video. Um, and I don't know about you, but some videos can be made where you're like in weird poses or your face looks funny or something like that. So it's better to have a customized, um, a customized thumbnail. And the best way to do that is using the vidIQ. And um, I'm going to show you that. Whoops, sorry, I'm in the wrong place here. Just going to go back. Okay, so I'm going, going back to my, my dashboard. See, uh, there's this arrow here. You can click down on this arrow. And, um, oh, this gives you other information and not the information that I'm actually looking for. So hold on for one second. While I go, um, to my, uh, Creator Studio. Sorry. You know, it's good that I stumble and make these mistakes because just letting you know that it's okay. You don't be perfect. And any mistakes that you make, it can be Okay, so now, um, why am I, why can I not find that? I'm on my creator studio, but um, I'm going to go to my dashboard.
That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my building manager. Because that's where you can do all of everything in that you need to do, is your video manager. And for some reason, it is not coming up for me. That's okay. I'm just going to go into this and just show you um, briefly how to do it in YouTube in case you decide that you don't want to have the video affect you. Um, you just click right here where it says create a thumbnail. Now I'm just going to go through the motion and create that. My, um, Current, current thumbnail, okay? But um, basically, if you want to make a thumbnail through a video, that a video still, um, you can do that as well, just by clicking that. But see, I, I don't want to do that because I've already got the thumbnail. But you just click, you click this here, and it's going to become your, your new uh, thumbnail. And then you click Okay, or you could go to here, which is other images, the drag and drop box uh, in which you could have a picture in your computer and bring that down. But I'm just going to show you the my current thumbnail because there's other things. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on, on that as well. So this is just briefly showing you that um, that is important. For you to do. Um, this is part of the, the vid IQ that you can do um, in making it. You could um, enter text, you, you could click on different images, which I think that's probably what is where that would come from. And here's your text. Or you could have te make templates, which I already have, which, which I'm not really going to fool around too much in there because I will be. Um, messing around with my thumbnail. Okay, so that is very uh, an important thing is to create your own thumbnail. Um, now, another thing that I did miss when um, I did this this uh, YouTube um, uh, video to put it into WordPress, I did miss the embedding. I should have talked about how you could embed videos, but the reason I didn't talk about that was because some people don't allow you to do that. But I am going to go over it right now so that you can see. So uh, basically, we go right um, into uh, YouTube. Um, down for a second. Okay, uh, do a right click right on the video. You're going to see a number of uh, different options. What you want to choose is the third one down, which is copy embedded code. Very important that you do that uh, because this is what you need. Okay, I've now copied that. To now I have opened a website. This is a free WordPress. I work with both. I work with free WordPress and I also work with um, uh, a host. I am a, a uh, reseller for a host gator, so um, I can um, be able to have as many uh, um, websites as I want, and I don't have to worry about. Um, the different types of things that you would worry about with a, a free uh, WordPress. So I'm going to go in, into, um, I'm just going to go into, just going to go into, okay. Um, this is uh, my um, practice for uh, uh, WordPress tutorials, and um, I just wanted to show you this is using the free site. Um, the it would be um, 
the text actually if you're using something else but HTML and you just click in there and the reason you click in here is because there's a lot of things that you will not see when you see here you can't see okay what's go what's going on so when you click here you can see the computer language and you can make sure that when when you uh, paste it in that you are not pasting anything on top of any other computer language <laughs> which is uh, which is really important because you are not going to be able to see your video if that's the case and then uh, go to update and then go to visual and then it should pull this through it may take um, a couple of seconds, but it should be able to just pull this through. Okay, I'm going to uh, do this over because um, it looks like it didn't do that. Okay, I was going to take this out. For some reason, I may have copied the wrong one. I hope I didn't. Okay, so usually it copy the embedded code, which I'm doing, and then here, and then I want to go right back into my HTML, or I'm in my HTML, and then I want to make sure that I, I paste it in a place that it's not going to be pasting on top of other computer information. Okay, so that should be correct now. So let's just see what's happening. Okay, well there's nothing like um, doing a tutorial and having it not work for you. Okay, that should have actually been pulled through. I don't know why it's not doing that. Well, we need to get this working because there's no point in doing a tutorial for some reason that is not going through. So I'm going to do copy the video URL and see because uh, I, I am working with a free WordPress site and there is something that's not there is something that's not right here there's something that I, I'm actually not seeing I'm just going to paste this in and then this is the actual URL for the video. I'm going to update that. And then I'm going to click on my visual. But for some reason, it's not pulling it down. I'm going to do that again. So you know if you have this problem, okay. It just it just took uh, a couple of minutes to to actually propagate. Now I, I'm just wondering why it didn't do the embedded code, which I'm going to try again. I'm going to uh, copy the embedded code, and then if it doesn't work, I am going to check my in my video and see whether I have the Creative Commons click because if I don't and if I if I have something else clicked that says that you can't embed from the video then that's why that's happening so there's those two videos there the one well one, now I'm gonna do this uh, and that should show that it says it's been updated but 
I'm just gonna look and see if I come down. So I should actually have three videos. There we go. Okay. Okay, so it just uh, takes a little bit longer with the free WordPress to propagate than it does on the other one. So I'm glad that we went through that, and I hope that I've helped you in that, and by making um, the different errors that I did, I hope that was helpful as well. Okay, so um, actually getting back to the video, um, that is a way that, that you would um, uh, be able to post that to the free WordPress. And if you are using, say, with HostGator or another hosting company, uh, you, would, you could do the same thing. Okay, so that's just catching up with this particular video. And as you can see, just my score went up by two, just me doing those things with the video. Um, about how it's important. This is the way it actually will look on YouTube. And if you did want to use the, the keywords, all you'd have to do is click here, uh, copy the keywords. And I am actually not going to put them into any of my... Um, well, actually, there is a video that I could put them in. Um, I'm just going to go go there for one second and um, show you and I'm gonna go I'm just going to show my um, I'm just gonna go to this one here because um just one that, that I made, uh, I believe I was on a slide. Okay, I'm to the video. And, and here we go. I'm just going to show you those keywords that I just copied. I'm going to paste this in here and, and where it says tags. And there you have the that I just took. And as you can see, my video scores just started going up. I don't really have a good description, and I don't have a good... I haven't worked on this, this video um, because there's all this other stuff that shows you when you have the, the, the vid IQ of what you can do to make your video better. So, you know, that's just an example. So this actual video is just um, a, a little bit to say thank you for um, liking and subscribing, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Just leave me some comments. Um, anything that you want to learn, anything that you want to uh, know that um, uh, that I might have the answer to, I'm happy to answer. And I just wanted to let you know that um, you can. Use the videos, they're all Creative Commons, and um, it helps you with your business or it helps you in understanding that I'm, I'm really happy to do that. Okay, so, so you guys have yourself a great day.